headstand practice. A lot of people are like afraid of headstands, but there is no need to be. I, it took me a long time to get to a solid headstand practice and there's a lot of stages you can hit on the way. And there's a couple of different headstands that you can practice with. So yeah, that's it. Um, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with the traditional headstand. So the first thing that we're gonna do is interlace our hands. Clap your palms together. Sometimes when I see it, I see people with their palms out and they have their hands, like their palms on their head. And that's not as stable as having your palms together with your wrists on your head, okay? So the first things first, we're gonna start in a tabletop, right? Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Then we're gonna come down to our elbows, interlace those hands, clasp those palms together. Then make this little triangle with your hands and your elbows. What you can do is release the uh, hands and check, grab your elbows. That's about the distance you want your elbows apart. So you don't want them way out here, you don't want them way out here. Just a nice shoulder width distance. Clasp the palms together and then place the top of your head on the floor. Try to get my shirt out of the way. Top of the head on the floor and press the elbows down and take the shoulders away from the ears. So sometimes when I do this, all of a sudden my shoulders come up by my ears. That's not useful. We need more strength. So press into the elbows to lift your shoulders up away from you. Hopefully you can see that. So we're going to do that here. So we're gonna top of the head down, press into the elbows, lift the shoulders up. From here, this is stage one. Just see what it feels like to have a tiny bit of weight on your head. A note, we're not placing a ton of weight in the head. This is supported headstand, which means you're supported by your forearm. They're taking the brunt of the weight. From here, stage one, see how this feels, okay? Hello. Then we're gonna move to stage two. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up. Now, we're adding a little bit more weight into the head. How's this feel, right? You wanna use your forearms, press your forearms down and shoulders up away from you. You can stay here practicing this for months, um, just seeing how this feels, right? Take your knees down, lift your legs up, take your knees down, see how this feels. Okay, once you feel comfortable with this, you can start to walk your toes toward you, right? And then you're getting your hips to come up over your head, right? And play with this situation. It gets a little bit more weight into the elbows and the head, right? And then once you get here, you can start to lift one leg up and then the other, see how this feels? And then maybe both legs are gonna come up off the floor. You can make this little egg shape, right? Practice this for a long time, like not consecutively, but over time. Then maybe the knees come straight up towards the sky, and then you can have your toes come up towards the sky. Now you're gonna notice, pull your belly in, you can make your feet super active. Notice that you're gonna move sideways, like I'm on my elbows a little bit more, and I'm on the backs towards my wrists, anything like that. See what you think. Okay, so from there, give that a go. If that's not working for you, you can always come up against a wall. So the wall, we can pretend this is the wall. Your hands are gonna come up right up against the wall. And then you try it right like this. Hips come up. Try with this egg shape first, because that's how you build the strength. You're building core strength to get here. This takes a lot of core strength, right? So just try it up against the wall, but it gives you that, it takes that fear away. You're like, I'm gonna roll over and flip over and, you know, all that fear stuff that comes with going upside down. I know, a teacher of mine used to say this, approach this like a kid on a playground, not like a grown up with a mortgage. This does not have to be serious. There's no winning or losing. It's just practicing, playing, right? There's no medal if you get it right. You just feel good about yourself. Move on to the rest of your day. So the other option is once you get to this little space, you can start to just see what it feels like to lift one leg up. Woo! And then maybe the other leg comes up, maybe not, right? And then switch legs, other leg. We all have one sort of strong leg that we do, that we use, right? Different things, you can see how this works for you. And just play around with it. Bring your legs up, pull your belly in. All right, so that's supported headstand. Another option is a tripod headstand. So, tripod headstand is exactly what you think. Three points. Head, hands, hands, make a triangle, okay? So, I'll show you what that looks like. So your 
crown of your head, the top of your head is going to come down to the floor, and your hands are going to make the equivalent of that elbow space that we were just doing. So the hands are here. You want a nice, solid base. Then tuck your toes, lift your hips, and then you can walk your toes. I like to rest my knees on my elbows. That feels kind of nice. So the hands are taking some weight and the top of the head is taking some weight. My neck goes in my mouth. And then you can just see what it feels like to take your toes up. One toe, the other toe. And then from here, you start to work on getting this up. Maybe you find that little egg shape again. Lift it up. Something like that. You can work your way back down. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna do it, maybe not, who knows? Right, and you can come on tripod headstand lots of different ways. The thing that I'm trying right now, which is like super hard but really fun to practice, is in crow, right? I got my crow action happening, right? Fingertips are spread nice and wide, elbows on the tripod, elbows on the triceps, and then I'm looking forward. I'm gonna move my block actually. And then I lift up and I find this little crow situation. Then maybe gently head comes down to the floor and then I find your tripod headstand. Then maybe you come back down to your elbows on your knees. Now maybe you can build up strength to come back to crow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try. Pull your belly in. Not today. But it's fun to try. Fun to practice. So I hope you have fun practicing your headstands. Hit me up with any questions, comments, anything that you need. But uh, I hope you have fun. Keep it light. Kid at the playground. Thanks, guys.